I know, but what do you want me to do? They've asked me to. Yeah, but I've got to do it. I know. We trap loads, I know. You know you're the only one. Just stay here, just don't watch. You'll be alright. Right, morning y'all. Phantom X, Scotty Cameron, putter of you. Just a little heads up, I'm a Scotty Cameron fan. Sorry, but I am. Phantom X comes with five new mallet model shapes. We're also going to see different variations in the neck. I think we get a, a mid, a low, and then a center shafted option on some of the models. The design ideas around these products, there's going to be a lot of talk of alignment from three dots to wings to lines with dots, lots of variations, which I'll show you through the different models. We're getting this very sleek design as well. So it's called a mallet. But as mallets goes, they're certainly not the biggest putter heads out there, but we're still getting high MOI reading, Scotty is saying. While at the same time, we're getting pretty sleek, kind of what we expect from Scotty Cameron design. To be honest with you, I took this one out on the course over the weekend, loving the centre shaftedness. I like the two lines, but then with the blacked out line on top, because I'm generally a guy who doesn't really like lines, so I use this kind of bar more to line up than these two big lines. But I do love the feel of this centre shafted and the mallet design. So MOI ideas with these putters. Obviously if you're going to hit putts not always in the centre of the face. You want that ball speed to keep up. The higher that MOI is on the putters. The more chance you've got of hitting better pace putts. Then in turn hopefully holding a few more. Even when you're not striking it perfect. We're also getting a solid putter face on these ones and the feel well we'll go outside and show you on the green when i got over the weekend the feel is different and it's very nice off the face it's i'll try and articulate what it feels like but definitely try one if you get the chance because it does feel like nothing really i've ever used before it's milled from a solid block of 6061 aluminium apparently um which to me doesn't really mean much but the feel that it gives off that face definitely is something like I've not really had off a putter before and I do like it. Very low profile, kind of ground hugging, smooth shapes that you get on these uh, Phantom X's as well. So we get lines that sit on top of the putter curving down to the ground. In contrast to that, in a similar head shape you then get the sunken recess with the two lines as well. So they're basically on the ground almost. Also with the dotted lineup lines. We also, I quite like this as well. You get that kind of those little drilled out bits at the back, which we see in many Scotties. Kind of customary with the Scotty Cameron putters that, isn't it? Also comes with these new Scotty Cameron grey grips where it's slightly thicker at the bottom, so not tapered as much. Almost like a equivalent, I think, to an extra layer of tape from the right hand position, which does feel very nice in the hand, giving you less taper, more of an even feel between the top and the bottom hand. We're getting face balanced options as well as near face balance options with the 12 being the kind of the biggest head with these wings out to the side the real noticeable factor for me on these is how sleek they look like they look crazily good for a big mallet because sometimes mallets can look a little bit clumsy can't they this one saying being the biggest but then if we go down to the one that i'm preferring the size and shape of feels equal as stable but at the same time it's not a massive mallet head, which I'm quite liking. Let's get out on the putting green and see how they feel. Let's start with 8 and 8.5. Now both of these putters with their solid black design, and then you get these yellow, stunning yellow line-up lines with the three dots, kind of just hug the ground. They kind of just are like so naturally flowing into the ground, which I actually quite like. You've got the low and the mid-neck on these two. When you go to the low neck, as well, it just kind of pushes everything like this feeling of it just falling into the ground, just like being one with the ground, which I really like. And I think this one's such a good example of a mallet that has MOI, has a bit of size about it, but doesn't look massive down by the ball. Presents, pull that one, with a nice combination of straight and then flowing lines. Even around to this nice curve at the back. I think people will like the simplicity of this. And then if I go into the mid neck again, this is more classic to what I've used all my life, so I kind of feel more natural with this one. It does again, the head feels like it's hugging the ground. It's equal to that one, but the higher neck does give it a different 
visual feel when I look down at it. Oh, lip out. I think I hold more with the high neck. I actually think I prefer more with the, or the mid neck, I prefer more with the low neck. Just, it kind of complements the look and feel of that one. So five, so again, it's the two necks. I prefer, I am starting to like the low neck more, the more I pick them up, where I would always be more mid. I think this shape will be very popular. Again, mallet, MOI ideas, but there's not much putt head down there. You know, we get a nice little black line bar. We get these two silver kind of prongs coming out the back with a little bit of black. The black kind of seamlessly starts to disappear when you look down. It's a lot of putter, but not a lot of putter, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, this is sleek, down by the ball. I think the thing I'm really enjoying with these is I like the black to the silver, because the black is all I'm kind of looking at, and there isn't much of that. So this is the low neck, face off the face feels exactly the same as the last one. Oh my word. Maybe I need bigger line up lines. I'm gonna go until I hold one. And then the mid neck again. Something about the low neck for me on these. I don't know if it's because of their low profile. I don't know what it is, but I'm definitely preferring the low neck on these. So six and seven point five. Now these two heads, are kind of my favourite two heads. I've got the low neck and the very desirable to me centre shafted, which is just slightly off centre, so your eye line goes more into the centre. So I've got the recess lines on this one, so it's almost like a little cavity down there with this black bar at the back. So in the six straight, in the 7.5 and the seven, it's the same, but it's a curve flowing from the top line. So it's basically the same head, it feels like, just with recess lines or on top of the head flowing curve lines. So I'm gonna leave the one that I played with till last. Again, off the face doesn't feel any different. Leaf issue that was one of my work, that was one of my better putts. Oh what? I am not holding putts today, am I? Now I am really starting to fall in love with centre shafted putters. Like, I am loving the look of this, feeling like the shaft and the face are all helping me line up. Now, anyone who wants big lines on their putters, you're definitely going to pick these ones up. And feel you've got all the assists that you need. Because the line-up lines are there, and they're big and very present. But in a strange way, I'm able to kind of look almost through them because of that black bit on top and the black lineup line. I almost don't use the other lineup lines. As someone who doesn't, in kind of the past, my other putters is a massive fan of the lineup lines. So I think you can choose to look at them or not, depending on what you want. I definitely see, I'm using the black to the silver lines contrast to line this putter up more. So the winged 12 to finish, this is kind of the biggest one down by the ball because you get these extra wings. So I don't know if this one offers the most MOI out of the bunch. If it does, I reckon it's gonna be hard to notice between this and the other ones. Definitely the bigger shape down by the ball. Like I get it, I like it, people who want bigger shapes this one will offer it out of the range I would say this is my least favorite because what I like about the others is I really like how small they are while at the same time feeling as stable as this interesting across the face of all the putters not really noticing any difference in feels in terms of sound
I hold the most with my least favourite looking one. Again for me that wouldn't make me choose this one over the others. I'm going to always go with my feels, my preference of looks and the kind of confidence it gives me looking down because I feel with any one of these if we just putted enough times I would probably hold equal amount with each one over another one. I wouldn't see particularly a pattern. What I do like with all of them, they feel the same. There's definitely strong contrast in colours, stroke lines, which I think lots of people will like. If you choose to use them or not, it's your choice. Again, with me, the one I'm choosing. So the six straight has two very big lines on the back. But with my style of putting, I'm choosing not really to use these. I'm using this black bar with these silver um, wings coming out the back. So the line of this black bar, that's what I'm aiming up with and trying to gauge where I want to hit my putt with a bit more. And again with my favourite one, it's a mallet, it's going to give me a bit more stability, but at the same time, it's not big, it's very sleek and pretty. Dare we say Scotty Cameron-like in its design. Let's see what happened when I took it out on the course. So out on the course, had a lot of fun. This centre shafted one. Lovely number six. Did feel nice. I missed some, didn't film them. Hold some, did film them. And as you can see outside on the putting green there, I missed plenty. It's still gonna be the skill set that I deliver. Certain putters can deliver different feels, help with alignments, different sounds, different looks down by the ball that just at certain times encourage different ideas that you might be having. Now these have to go back unfortunately, if they didn't this one would be staying and probably having a little go in my bag. But, custom shop's down there and she gets very very jealous. I feel always that I'll run back to my custom shop, I've always had like a banker putter through my life and then a few little trades just to try different ideas. Post comments down below, if you've got any questions about these putters, I've got Scotty Cameron some time with him very soon, so post your comments down there, we'll pick the best ones and I'll get him to answer for you. So anything I've not covered, any other questions you want to know about the brand, the putters, him, post some comments, we'll try and get Scotty to answer for you. Again, thanks for watching, hit the subscribe button, comment as well down there let me know what you think about the putters you know for some of you too expensive we always get that with Scotty Cameron putters and that's fine you putt with whatever you can afford and whatever feels best if you're looking for something with big lineup lines definitely that feel of luxury like Scotty delivers these have to be given a go let me know what you think see you soon